fact, the two greatest things in the Lego Movie 2 were the Rexelsior and Sparkle Babies. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you two LEGO Movie 2 sets. The first one here is the Sistar Party Crew, featuring the ultimate, most fabulous version ever of Metal Beard. And the other is Good Morning Sparkle Babies. Well, I'm not going to make you wait. I'm going to get right to the good one. The most important one, Good Morning Sparkle Babies. This set is small and compact, pretty simple, and very, very colorful. The main build is more or less your typical terrain-based side build. Not a lot to it, not a lot of space taken up by it, but this one in particular has some interesting colors of, of foliage. I particularly am interested in these palm or palmetto leaves in the school bus yellow color. It's the flame orangish yellow or yellowish orange color. Also this little foliage bit in just a regular orange. This is actually a catapult. It's like a built up custom made catapult with just the simplest little bit of, of action there. It's, it's a shovel that's in there and it's just able to give a little bit of lift to the center. And the idea there is that you put star with a little add on on the back into that spot and then you can launch it up from there very enthusiastically. <laughs> it pops up actually pretty nicely. It's kind of a fun feeling to do. And I appreciate the fact that I actually had to build that up. It doesn't just use a preformed catapult uh, piece. You know, they've got those, they've used them before. Hmm. So that's that. The two minifigures are Emmett and Lucy, AKA Wildstyle. And it's a Wildstyle with the cooler uh, version of hair with the second layer of dye washed out of it. So this is the way she used to be. And that's just a cool hair piece to, to get, you know, different color, pretty nice style as well. And it comes with that uh, printed, yep, it's a print, not a not a, a sticker, thank goodness, printed two by two tile that represents the record album, the, the 12 inch uh, pressing of Everything is Awesome from her own popular band. So two very good things to get. As for alternate faces, yep, we get them. And uh, they're pretty compatible, very similar expressions. These are the stars of the show, though, of course, the Sparkle Babies themselves. The one on the left is not printed perfectly with the black uh, ink or paint application to it, you know, just smudged a little bit. It's a little bit difficult to see that in real life when you're not super zoomed in like this, just because these are just so tiny. I mean, relative to the size of a, of a minifig, yeah, it's, <laughs> these are really tiny. They're just the most recent version of official minifig scaled babies that Lego has made with the the two molds with the extra thin neck to make them a little bit more minifig like. The heads are separate. You actually have to put them on when you get the set so you can rotate them from side to side. The hands are the sizes of bars so things can be clipped to them. I'm just randomly grabbing a piece here just to demonstrate you know you can actually use those hands for something. And they have printed torsos as well. And I think they will be exclusive to this set. And I think they're just great because ultimately they're just different designs of babies. You know, we've gotten them in, uh, what is it, a few? Uh, I, I don't have the exact count. Not too many. You know, we haven't gotten a lot of them. Most of them in the world right now are just white with generic heads. But uh, yeah, it's just great to get more options. Uh, the arms do not go up and down if you're wondering about that. Uh, and the hands do not turn. They are dual molded though, with the yellow being also plastic, not a paint application. These are smoothies for the adults, or if you want, you can use them as baby bottles. And then there's this. Looks like just two spare parts. Kind of is, but actually is intended to serve a purpose with star here. So that is printed also. But the idea is that you take the part with the inver inverted tile, and also a plate off and you stick this on there. I don't know what the orientation is. Almost, almost got it. There we go, like that. And it's able to kind of stand up almost, but really the idea there is that it acts as a platform for a Sparkle Baby to use this to fly around. It's a personal transportation device and it is absolutely perfect. I mean, just look at the height there. It's just lined up just right. The aerodynamics are amazing <laughs> on this. Uh, yeah, fly your Sparkle Baby around. If only they had uh, more of these stars included in this set. 
And now I must move on to the other set, the Sistara Party Crew, which probably ought to have had Metal Beard's name in the title of it. Usually when they put Metal Beard in something, they, you know, give him proper credit. But here they didn't. It's all good. It's still a wonderful version of Metal Beard with some great parts. My favorite item by far is the new printed 1x4 tile representing a keyboard. It is something that can be repeated, so if you want to make a huge grand piano, you can. Or you can just keep it nice and small like that. Like, I mean, you can just imagine that being a small, simple uh, elect you know, electric keyboard, like a, a home one, just a basic one. There's another one right here, so they do include two in this set, which is fantastic. Usually when they come out with something new and cool and in a unique color, a new color, or with a new print, they give you one with a set. So now they've given us two. I'm very thankful for that. Very, very thankful. The golden metal beard is included here. A bunch of different curved uh, tiles in purple. You get some articulation with the arm that's able to move all around. It also has a suggestion of either a, uh, either a vinyl, a record disc there, or a, uh, a speaker. I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna go with a, a record. And this can move all around. It's not all that much you really will do with this, but you know, just for posing it, maybe you can give them a drink or something, have them doing different things, waving, different stuff. Uh, these little hooks down here can be used to play the piano. You just imagine those are extra appendages specifically for that. Record player up here, he's just got all kinds of stuff on him. I actually, whoa, where'd that, where'd that go? Okay, there we go. I actually think that his, uh, his peg leg is not the most ideal on this set because it has a gem at the end of it. That's just going to be scratching the dance floor up terribly. I mean, it looks nicely cut and everything, so that's not the best idea. And then he's got a horn over here, which is just his hand. Like, it, 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 he, he's not even holding it. It, it. it is his hand. And he has enough articulation that he can bring that up to his... <laughs> I'm cheating a little bit. There we go. Something like that. See, he can actually bring it right up to his mouth. So, you know, turn his head to the side and it looks like he's actually blowing into the thing. So that's pretty good. This is able to be angled up and down, which is a little bit awkward, but just roll with it, you know, angle it wherever you need it to be. And it works out just fine. So that's pretty cool. And he's got just a random drum around one side. You can see a little bit of uh, transparent purple in there with the inverted two by two round tiles and the big uh, gold colored large shell there just one single half not enough to to make something complete but still pretty cool looking and you know his legs just move back and forth and in and out just a bit so there's not a whole lot that you can do with the legs but you know you can pose them a bit and he is able to balance quite well on his his uh, keyboard leg there so does its job and lastly you got the golden chest there, which, you know, his his chest, literally and figuratively, and inside it, just the usual things for him, the bone and the single organ represented there, just what they've always included. And that's pretty much it for this. There's no alternate face for his head or anything, which is fine. It just has his standard printed hat, captain's hat. And yeah, I think it's pretty good. But to me, uh, to me, it's, it's mostly just a parts pack. This whole thing, this whole build, is just a bunch of, of great parts that I'm happy to get. Here are this set's side builds, just using up the remainder of the parts budget for the set. It just has a little floor speaker there. This is a bit of a dance floor, which has some lights. Reminds me a lot of the uh, Microsoft Windows logo, the way it's set up. But, you know, it's small, but colorful. And then just a small table with some drinks. Again, smoothies, or if you want, you can use them as baby bottles if you also get the Sparkle Baby set. This Disco Kitty variant of Unikitty is absolutely out of control with her 70s disco boots that are ridiculously tall and printed on the side, including a little bit of, uh, a little bit of silver there to give it a little bit of shine. And it's printed on both sides, thankfully, as is the tail. Uh, I think that her, her glasses are a little bit more 60s style, just just a bit. The fanciest thing here by far is the feather boa, which is some really good material. It's able to hold its its shape without having a solid core. Like it's it's not a pipe cleaner. 
it's just fabric and it's just done really nicely it actually almost feels like a cloud like it's it's very soft and able to bend easily and yet it's able to hold its its own shape just from the fibers sticking to themselves so that's all great stuff i think i mean this is just, it's just cool just well designed and as the most modern version of a unikitty design where they actually use the specialized inverted well not inverted but the specialized yeah it's inverted tile yeah with the bar sized hole in it and they also give us an option to put a different face on unikitty always nice to get options the print there is not perfect and i mean this color here is supposed to be white it's supposed to be the same as that down there but this is pretty much par for the course for unikitties again at least we have prints on both sides of the boots and most importantly the tail and finally here's one more variant of benny this is stardust benny with dual molded legs there notice and i love the the printed uh, shades goggles visor what, what do you even call that at this point glasses i guess i don't know but you know they're able to to flip up just fits on like a visor he also has print on the back of the torso we will see in just a moment but first I mentioned flipping this up i got a misprint no oh, that's too bad oh, well i mean fortunately this will be down most of the time for me so yeah it's just too bad. Some people say, oh, it's a misprint. It's going to be worth a million dollars on eBay. I don't think so. It's just, it's just a misprint and, and, not even an, and not even an interesting one at that. And then he's got his alternate face and there's the print on the back of the torso. Here are the leftovers, the spares for each set. I've kept them separate. And yes, the uh, two by two metallic silver painted dish is an extra for the party crew set. A lot of cool stuff. A lot of nice small pieces in interesting colors or you know just useful things given how small the sets are this set is twenty dollars us and honestly it doesn't feel like twenty dollars us worth of stuff to me sorry uh it just it just doesn't yeah the, the price to part ratio looks pretty good but doesn't feel like a twenty dollar set to me uh yeah I, and i recognize some ex exclusive prints and everything dual molded there and stuff and, but now nah, it just doesn't feel like twenty dollars worth to me i'd love to see this on discount and fortunately you can already get it at a discount some places a little bit of a discount anything anything is good uh, fifteen dollars maybe is asking too much but you know something in the seventeen dollar range i think yeah it's not that big of a difference but still that's just my opinion twenty feels like too much uh great parts pack though uh nice version of Benny and I personally love these keyboard prints and also the feather boa. Good morning Sparkle Babies is $10 US and worth every penny. If you don't buy this then you clearly are a person who hates fun and joy and color and sparkle babies. So yeah, don't not buy this. Not sponsored by Lego. <laughs> I, I, I just think it's great. I, I had to get it. I actually got more than one for myself so that I can use extra Sparkle Babies in different places and possibly play around with different uses for the odd colors of foliage. It's just good stuff. And I do think the price is fair for the stuff that you get here. Uh, the, the price to volume of stuff ratio is not great here, but I feel like the value is good with two full minifigures two babies which are just so rare that's a print and it's a cool thing and the foliage pieces it feels worth it to me so i have reviewed these two sets in one video i also built them together in two videos one of them is the real-time build which has both sets in it the other one is the speed build which is the same thing again just sped up so depending upon your speed in life Pick one of those from the end screen if you'd like to, and if you haven't seen them already, and I'll talk to you again soon. Thanks for watching.